Hello students, welcome to Physics Guru. In this video, we will learn how to solve pulley block problems where the thread is passing over the pulley. Two blocks are connected like this M1, M2 and the thread is passing over the pulley. The pulley is ideal, that means the mass of the pulley is negligible and the friction is also negligible. What will be the acceleration of the both the blocks and what will be the tension in the string? That is the question. Let's proceed to the next page. So here the question, two blocks A and B of masses 4 kg and 6 kg are connected by a massless and inextensible string. The string passes over a massless and frictionless pulley as shown. Block A is on a smooth horizontal table. This is smooth, no friction. And the block B is hanging. If the system is released from rest, find the acceleration of the blocks and the tension in the string. Let us start. The standard procedure for solving these types of block problems is to first make the free body diagram of both the blocks. Let us start. So here is our block A and here the block B. We have drawn them as it is shown in the figure. Now, first of all, the force of gravity will act on both the blocks and a gravitational force M1G vertically down and M2G vertically down will act on both the blocks. Next. As this block A is kept on the table, at this place of contact, there will be a normal reaction force acting up on the block M1. And the block B is not in contact with the table anyway, so therefore no normal reaction will act on the block M2. But now both the blocks are connected to the string and the string will apply tension force at both of these connections. And uh, the direction of tension force is decided by this simple concept that tension always pulls. So when this string will become tight, then it will pull the block M1 to the rightward direction and it will pull the block B in the upward direction. Tension always pulls. Next, regarding these accelerations, why these accelerations are equal for both the bodies? Both bodies will move with the same magnitude of acceleration because the string is inextensible, means whose length is constant or length cannot increase. So if the length of the string always remains constant, so whatever distance block B will fall down, same distance A will move rightwards. For example, if B moves 1 cm distance down, then A will move 1 cm to the right direction. Therefore, at any instant of time, they will have the same instantaneous velocity and thus the same instantaneous acceleration at any instant of time. Hence, both of bodies will be shown acceleration A and acceleration A. Now, we will apply the Newton's second law of motion to find out the value of acceleration and tension. Write down sigma fx is equal to max. This is the Newton's second law for x direction or horizontal direction. So, who is moving horizontally? The block A is moving horizontally. Now, if you see along the x direction, the total force is only the tension T acting on the block. So, sigma fx is T equal to mass m1 and acceleration in the x direction is a. First equation. Now, for the same block, let us look in the vertical direction. In the vertical direction, normal reaction is acting up, m1g acting down. So, write down Newton's second law for y direction. Sigma fy is equal to may. Sigma fy means summation of all the forces. So, there are two forces acting in the y direction. And... Uh, but also one more thing to note it down right hand side this ay is equal to 0 because this block is moving only horizontally on the table it cannot move up or down so in the vertical direction its acceleration is 0 so we will write down that total force in the y direction will be n minus m1g n1 minus m1g is equal to 0 here n n1 both are same thing so the normal reaction will become m1g so normal reaction is equal to the weight of the object here Next, coming to the block B. The block B doesn't move in the x direction. It moves only in the y direction only. So, we will take only one equation. Sigma Fy is equal to MAY. Now, total force acting in the y direction, there are two forces, M to G and T. Here, confusion arises that shall we write down this Sigma Fy as T minus M to G or M to G minus T? Which one is bigger? How do we decide that? So, look at the direction of acceleration. Since the block B is going down with acceleration A, so therefore M2G must be bigger than T. Then only uh, it, this M2G will be able to pull it down with acceleration A. 
so in that case what we'll do that we will take the direction of the acceleration as positive and opposite direction of acceleration as negative so therefore the sigma fy will be m2g minus t as you can see m2g is positive value direction downward and tension t upward direction negative tension t negative is equal to mass into acceleration so once again i repeat here that always take the direction of acceleration as positive in block problems and according to that you select which force is positive which force is negative the force which is supporting the acceleration in the same direction of acceleration will be taken positive and the force which is opposite to direction of acceleration will be taken as negative so finally we have two equations built up here equation number one and equation number two and from these two equations one can find out the two unknowns the acceleration a and the tension t so let's do one thing let us add both the equations if you adding do both the equation one and two put one over the other so put this equation over here second one and first equation below this and then add both the equations so on the lhs t minus t will get cancelled and you'll get m 2 g after addition and right side addition you'll get this m1 plus m2 multiplied by a now acceleration a will become m 2 g divided by m1 plus m2 here is the first answer next we need to find out what is the tension in the string we can take the first equation so from the first equation t is equal to m1 a here the value of a substitute here and you will get t is equal to this m1 m2 g divided by m1 plus m2 in this manner we have seen how easy it is to solve such type of block problems i will be coming soon with more difficult level problems also so keep watching the video and please subscribe so please press the like button if you have enjoyed the solution of this problem and for more videos like this please subscribe because i'm going to put more videos of harder levels thank you very much for watching my video